Well, on the eve of Majority Rule Day, the opposition chairman is joining the chairman of the National Heroes Day Committee in calling for an end to the British honor system. Among those making the Queen's top 2018 honors were businessman Mark Colowesco, former parliamentarian and educator Lawrence Cartwright, and former Christian Council President Reverend Ranford Patterson. The announcement came just weeks after regulations for the national honours were tabled in the House of Assembly. As Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis explained at the time, there are various societies of honours, each of which will have its own rules, rights and privileges. Here's what Progressive Liberal Party spokesman Senator Fred Mitchell had to say on the whole issue of honouring deserving Bahamians during a press briefing this afternoon. And there was an announcement made of honours uh, from the Queen which are the royal or British honors. And while uh, no one um, decries those honors, those people who uh, accepted them and uh, were awarded them, they were made their contributions to our country. Um, I want to identify with the remarks of the chairman of the National Heroes Day Committee uh, in seeking to end the question of awarding of British honors in the Bahamas. The plan is to announce the National Honors Awards by July 10th each year. The conferment of those honors would take place the second Monday in October. Well, as the nation celebrates majority rule, the Democratic National Alliance wants Bahamians to remember that the events of January 10th, 1967 represent a victory for all, not just a particular race or political persuasion and that its significance is shown in the right of all Bahamians to vote and participate in society irrespective of gender, ethnic or socio-economic status. And according to the party's deputy leader, Arenthia Komalafe, that in itself is a testament to the fact that no great nation can prosper when members of its societies are disenfranchised to the benefit of a select few. Now, despite the strides, though, she says that the struggle for a better Bahamas continues, and it's a struggle that calls for Bahamians of this generation to take up the mantle to ensure that the majority rule from a philosophical and economical perspective. Meantime, the Prime Minister's majority rule message airs via radio this evening. A check on sports and weather, up next.